You seem relaxed, but you've been here before, haven't you? you? You know what this is all about. Yeah, you know, um, I think with a bit of maturing, with a bit of age, you know, you mature and you, you come across different paths. I think in my younger days, I was a little bit wild. I was out there, I think I, like, I like to party a bit too much as well as train with it, and it never worked. <laughs> Tony's got me great. He's, um, I've been with Tony two years now, and I'm really in a good place, and I'm ready to win the world title. Tell us about that gym at the moment. It seems to be absolutely buzzing every day. That must help you as a fighter. Yeah, there's loads of us in the gym. It's a good buzzing gym. All good fighters consistently sparring, talking through things. If things ain't going right, we're thinking about things. We're talking through things with each other. It's great, you know. We're it's, it's, it's really a good gym. We've got a few guys that come down and watch us, and they say it's like one of the best gyms I've ever been in. Like we've got Terry over there, Tex and Bill Moran. They, they're in the gym with us quite often, and, and they say they've been around gyms all over the world for the last... Like 30 years, 40 years, Terry has, and they say this gym is buzzing. Tell us about that cut, is that the same one you got before the Maduma fight? Yeah, it was, it was exactly that, yeah, and um, it just started mean, again. I think it's one of them little things, a little old injury, it'll just be a real career here and there, I think, over the years. But he's got to eat you first, hasn't he? As I said, he's got to eat me first. I'll be all right. Let me ask you about Jorge Linares. Some people say he's, you know, he's right up there as one of the best people to come to England to fight for a world title for a long time. Is that how you see it? He's a great fighter, he's a three world champion. Um, He's good at what he does, you know, but I think he fights very, very scared, very shy now. He, he ain't what he was four years ago. I, I won't say something that he ain't. He's a good fighter, he's a great fighter, but I think I've got, the, I've got the tools to beat him and what I fancy doing will work. Very quick, obviously. Is that his main kind of asset, do you think, in this one? Sharp hands, he pops shot shy, um, good movement. But he, he'll slow down, he'll be all right, it'll be well, it'll go well. Busy night for Tony as well. He's got yeah. you and the you know, AJ people, it's a, a big one for your gym. Well, he hasn't stopped, you know, he's been out in Texas before that. He had Martin Wald fighting for the WBC, one of the WBC belts. And um, obviously he was in Texas with um, Ricky. Now back here, he's on this one again. And then after this, I think he's going to have a short break. I'm going to take over the gym and look after the gym for a week while there's a short break. And he'll come back and I'll go away for a bit. And um, yeah, and then he'll be back in the gym again, straight away working hard again, he will. So you'll be running the place? Yeah, I did it after the last fight, I ran it for a week, yeah, I did, yeah. How did you find that? Is that something you think you'll do, you know, when you when you retire? I never thought I did as a young man, going, like, I just thought as I retire, I'd be out of the sport, I didn't think I would. But as I've got older, I actually enjoy giving advice to fighters and talking through things to fighters. Troubles I know they're going through that I've been through, it helps. And I think the advice, if I can move it on and pass it on, it'd be good. You know, I think now, late, lately, I'm actually thinking, yeah, along the lines, four or five years' time, definitely. Weekend just gone, obviously one of your mates, James DeGale, another yeah. Londoner, has claimed that world title in great yeah. fashion out in Boston. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it, you know, done great. I was just saying, as a young kid, we were always calling Chunky and things, and like, you'd never expect him to go and win the gold medal. You'd never expect him to do win the world title. He's gone and done it, you know? He's a great fella. If you get to know James, you know, like, oh, no, I've known him for a long time. He's a nice fella, he's a good fella. He can fight, and I, I honestly believe he'll go and do, do what he says he's going to do. He's not. If he says he's going to do something, he'll put his heart and all into what he says he's going to do, and I think he'll, he'll try his hardest. Eddie said that, that that sort of win ahead of this this oh, card will only be an inspiration for for you and the other and you know and Lee and obviously Kel and Frankie when it comes to fighting for world titles. Yeah, most definitely. When you, you see um, your, your own country fighting mates win world titles and doing things like it, it's great. It's great. For, it's great for your belief. And you know, I'm always quite strong. I'm, a, I'm quite a confident person anyway. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly how the fight's going to go, and I'll keep myself to a, a strong regime. But seeing him do that, it was wonderful to see him actually lift that world title belt and break history as well. And that's just a word on the lightweights. Obviously, there's you, Terry Flanagan, Anthony Crowley. You know, what an amazing few months for the lightweights in Britain. An amazing division. The lightweight division of Britain is banging at the minute. You know, as much as I'm fighting for the world title, there's, there's, there's fights in Britain that can be just, just as hard or even harder, I think. Um, get me win this world title. When I win it, I'll promise I'll defend it to the good fighters that are in Britain that are in the lightweight division. I'll defend it against them.